Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you how to use ConfigUI with CPU only installed through Pinocchio. Now, I have done this before on an Intel N100 system with an older version of Pinocchio. I tried it again on my AMD Ryzen 8845HS and I got an error that I had not seen with the Intel N100. Now I'm not really sure if it's because of older versions and that with newer versions that they change the requirement. But if you run into this issue, I can show you uh, a way to try to fix this. So in one of my earlier videos, I also mentioned that with Pinocchio, they make things very easy. But as soon as you run into an error, then it's not really clear if and how you can fix an error. Now, there's a lot of documentation. I didn't go through all this. Uh, perhaps at some point in time that I will dive a bit deeper into all these examples. But for now, I was able to fix it quite quickly just by guessing and yeah, using a bit of logic. Now, I'm not really sure if it's because of a change in Comfy UI, but it is possible to run Comfy UI with just a CPU. Well, it's recommended to have a um, rather fast one, I think, uh, preferably eight threads. So, uh, and of course, a lot of memory but uh, I'll get back to that later. So you can see here that there is an option to run CPU only. Now, here we have Pinocchio. And I already installed ConfUI. Uh, yeah, if you wanna see more about installing applications in Pinocchio UI, I will put a link in the description of the video. So we can try to start it. And then if we go back to the terminal, you can see that it can't find a GPU or a suitable GPU, which is technically correct. So of course now, we get to the point that how can we fix this? So if we go to the Pinocchio directory, API, we go to Comfy, and there is a start script. So if we open it, so I guess everything that starts with two of those slashes. That's comment. So there's a check if it's Windows 32 bits and if the GPU is AMD. Uh, it should execute like this. And if not, then it will execute like this. So this is probably the path that gets executed. So we add this parameter and that should fix it, at least in this case. So now, um, yeah, there's one of the other things, uh, download models. So one of the things I downloaded is stable video. And you can see that you can also download flux models. So 
I already downloaded a couple of those. But now we can try to start again, hopefully. No, not really. No, here. So here it says device CPU, and here we have Comfy UI. And as you can see, I already generated an image and I didn't use this model. I think I used Stable Diffusion 3. Um, and as I said earlier, you can also use Flux models. And, ah, yeah, this is the image to video workflow. So what you can do actually is, is that, um, let's just clear this one. So I think this is the default workflow. That one will work for stable diffusion. And if you want to use Flux, then, uh, well, I tried to run it just with the default workflow, but that didn't work for me. But you can load a Flux workflow. So let's just say how we go to Tokyo and then API, Confi, and then there are workflows. And here you can see that there is a separate workflow for Flux. And as you can see, it is different from the default workflow. Now, going back to video um, so in this case Pinocchio API Confi workflows default no, workflows Confi UI examples um, oh here are also some flux Workflows, no, those are just examples. So yeah, some can be a bit confusing. Anyway, if we go to video, we have, for instance, workflow image to video. So yeah, I downloaded the yeah stable video diffusion model so this one and i used this image and then it's just a matter of queuing your prompt and in my case waiting for around 40 45 minutes and then i'm not going to wait 45 minutes so I can show you the results that I got not really happy with let's just say the beak of the penguin and it looks as if it's doing some weird stuff with let's just say the wings of the penguin but I think the wave that is looks okay and surfboard is also reasonable so but it's uh, interesting to see that you can do this with just CPU only um, yeah it's recommended to get a the fastest CPU that you can get um, also preferably with eight threads um, 
I have 16 threads, but when I looked at the CPU monitor, it didn't look like as if all 16 threads were pushed all at the same time. So yeah, perhaps um, with eight threads that they are pushed to the limit, but 16 seems to be a bit overkill, at least for this model. Uh, but perhaps in the future, who knows if um, more threads can be used. Now, I really hope that uh, yeah, you saw how you can fix a script uh, for Pinocchio. Uh, there's no guarantee that all the problems that you might run into that they are as easily fixed as this one but at least it is possible to fix some things and um, sometimes it's not that complicated and I hope that you can also try to test a lot of different models uh, yeah there's no guarantee that every model will work just CPU CPU only who knows that yeah the way it's programmed that they do assume that there is a GPU available and that there is some sort of instruction that cannot be run on a CPU who knows so but at least now that I have a beefier CPU the AMD Ryzen 8845HS I'm really happy that I can run Comfy UI and also stable video diffusion and also some of the flux models so that's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video